Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today I am going to start the second chapter, Project Management. What is vision? Vision is the image of the future. So we have to see the company's image, how it will be in the future, based on the projects we have undertaken. That is the vision, vision statement. Mission statement is the strategic purpose. Strategic purpose, it is, it is actually the direction. It is actually the direction. It is actually the direction, scope of activities in organization, which has a long-term planning. It has a long-term planning. Yeah, it has a long-term planning. Way, how you manage the resources, how you manage the resources uh, to accompany the changing environment, to accompany the changing environment in the company how to the needs of markets how to satisfy the needs of market and expectations of stakeholders and expectations so these are the very important parameters to be seen in the mission of the I mean mission uh, following the strategic purpose then when you see the objectives objectives is the desired future positions what are the positions of the company how it is going to gain profit in the future so based on this you have the objective you have to frame the objective then goals measurable milestones like for example measurable milestones it is the progress it is the progress it is the progress makers they are the progress makers they act as a flag 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 means actually it is a uh, for example they have a time they have a time it is independent very very important they have a time which is independent it is very independent and they have zero durations this is very important zero durations the other zero durations and therefore when there is zero duration there is no work no work or no compensation I mean no conception no work and no conception so these are the no, no conception of resources so this is very important to be taken in consideration so it acts as a progress flag and time is independent and it is known as zero duration and no work and no con consumption of resources so this is the measurable goals actually in this actually this uh, future positions is actually the thing what do you see uh, that five years you have to fix the time period like five years five years based on the action plan based on the based on the action plans then you have this uh, goals for this action plans then you have this use of critical resources this might be uh, based on the schedule based on the schedule based on the schedule whether it is whether you have a, uh, within on time or on time or it is over overloaded and it crosses the time so this is taken into consideration next, next is the structure structure you have uh, factors like organizational design so very very important so it's the step by step it is step by step methodology it is the step by step methodology yes which identifies the workflow it identifies workflow then procedures then uh, we have uh, structures then you have systems so these are the very important steps to be followed which fits in the business which fits in business goals okay so these are put to uh, see whether they are, they are going to uh, see the new a plan of the company to develop new changes new changes so this is very very important then you have this job design job design is the arrangement job design is the arrangement job design is the arrangement arrangement that is work arrangement yes to it is actually this reduces to overcome uh, for example it, it it aims to reduce dissatisfaction this satisfaction of employees of employees very very important because every time when he's working on a particular job he feels dissatisfied so when you give him uh, various jobs to be done he feels very happy so that is the aim of this uh, job design and job to enhance the satisfaction of employee because it has repetitive tasks right so to overcome the repetitive repetitive tasks that's very very it's the main aim of job design then we have a leader and follower manner. So what is this leader and follower manner? Actually, it is the relationship. It is the relationship. It is the, actually, it is the relationship. It is the relationship. It is the relationship that ensures that uh, minimum, minimum 
uh, resistance. Resistance means, for example, uh, like uh, when a leader says something, leader has a willingness. A leader must have a willingness. Okay, and the follower should follow it. The follower should follow the willingness. Should follow the rules like willingness. That is how it goes. It goes hand in hand, hand in hand. That is very very important. Then we have this um, what is a system system supporting capability. It's very very important. It talks about human. It talks about human, human in the system, human in the system. Very very important. So it it, it uh, like it enhances the uh, infrastructure of the where the human is working infrastructure, facilities, facilities. Then you have uh, support systems support system. So these are very, very important to be taken into consideration while designing this uh, capabilities so that he works with safety, so that he works with safety. Very, very important. That's the main factor, main aim. Then we have this, uh, I mean, uh, resources that is human and non-human. So human is always the man, man-made. Non-human is machines. Non-human is machines. So this to be taken into consideration. Then we have the challenge in project resume. What are the challenges? See, for a project to be success and failure, we have two main areas. That is challenge in project resume and key points. So this challenge actually it talks about success, failure. Often they are the both important factors when there is a, either it will be a success or it will be a failure. And how it is seen in the, uh, like uh, for the, when continuing the project, how it is seen is based on the eye of the beholder. How he sees whether it will be a success or it will be a failure. And sometimes it may be incomplete. So incomplete means not finishing on proper time. There is lag in uh, lead time. Then contradictory data. The, the data are not even. Uneven data. Uneven. Uneven data. Then contradictory. Contradictory. So these are the factors which uh, are uncontrolled. Contradictory means uncontrolled. Uncontrolled. You are not controlled. You are not able to control the factors. Then time. Time zone is constrained. Constraints. Then value change, you're not giving a proper value to the uh, pro thing project. For example, values like, for example, you have a cost, you have, you're planning for very uh, costly uh, equipments to be purchased, but you're not having enough funds. So there is shortage in funds. So these all should be taken into consideration. And unique setting means, for example, unique setting, it is like, uh, unlike, it is not like, it is unlike, unlike. This value change actually talks about um, funds like stock, stock price, for example, it talks about stock price. Then, um, and then, uh, then also it talks about like uh, giving weightage, giving weightage to your project, giving weightage. So these are the important factors to be taken into consideration when considering the vein. And this unique setting is actually it is like a, something that is not like it is different. It is different. It is different. So that is unique setting. Then we have uh, key points, main key points like project subject to learning curve. What is this learning curve? Learning curve is a graphical, it is a graphical presentation. It's a graphical presentation, yeah. Which increases how how the outcomes, how the outcomes, how the outcomes, outcomes has been given importance, given importance. So the, it talks about the outcomes, how it is given importance. It shows the, uh, like from uh, bottom to top. So it's a curve. So this type of curves are seen in this project. So the best project management does not have a guarantee project success. So because see, when you, whatever the project might be, it, we cannot give any guarantee until and unless it is finished with the particular uh, date, due date. Then allow the time to see project viability. Project viability means it is the number of ways. It is the number of ways where project can be done. Project viability means feasibility. Feasibility means it should not exceed. It should not exceed the cost limit. Cost limit. Once you fix on the goals. So when you have, when you have it is within the cost limit, then it is feasible. The project can be done in a successful manner. Then we have uh, three main constraints. See, basic constraints, uh, basic constraints means it is the limit for accessing the project's uh, success, like you have, should have time, cost, performance. So time means the many, very important is the project has to come in on and under the initially scheduled frame. Scheduled frame means the duration. Scheduled frame means duration, time. You're planning the time, whether six months or 
12 months, so based on this, or three months. It should be based on the duration. It should be within the time frame. And cost, the project has to be completed within the budget limits. Like when you're fixing like one lakh, one million real, it should be within one million real or two million real. It should be within the limit. It should not cross, not cross the limits. It should not cross the limits. Performance means outcome. Performance means output or outcome, whatever it is. Had to perform in a manner how it is intended. means what you have aimed. It should be as per the aim, goal, objective. So it should be within the limits and within the aim of the uh, project. Plus, the customer satisfaction is very, very important. The whatever you do, the customer is the main uh, we are, uh, aim is towards the customer because he is the king. He is the king. He is the king. So we are, have to plan as per the satisfaction of customer. And project has to satisfy the needs of the intended user. So how he, for example, he should be feeling happy when he's using your product. So that's why our main aim is to feel, you should satisfy his needs.